What's up everybody and welcome to another Dirty Doctor's Witcher 3 tutorial. Uh, on this one we are going to be killing Salma, the succubus. Uh, now this one is pretty fucking hard. Uh, you're in a little tiny room and she has this just constant flow of fire attacks. Uh, the trick is you can't do the circle dodge. You have to use the X roll in order to dodge those fire bolts. Now another thing that's going to really help you out in this fight is if you have the perk uh, for your Quinn active shield it'll absorb some of the damage turning into health uh, and it will also let you get close to her to be able to hit her with a couple attacks. So let's go ahead and start this fight here. As far as the combat or the dialogue goes you can just uh, get to uh, like when you get the two options you can just go for you got it because uh, if you say I want to talk she'll explain that it was self-defense but you have to you kill her anyway so it's a human city bounty's a bounty sorry bitch Take them from the likes of you so it's true what they say about witches you're but murderers for hire all right so we're gonna roll with X roll back active shield explode it hit her oh I didn't have my sword out for some reason. Here a couple times here. Gotta be careful. As you can see, active shield is extremely important. Because once you let it go, then you can... Ah, come on. Damn it. Go. There we go. Once you let it go, it does a little explosion, and you can hit her uh, with the explosion stun. And there you have it. That's how you kill Salma the Succubus. Alright, so uh, let's loot her real quick. See what we get here. Cool gauntlets and a cool trophy. Let's go ahead and get her trophy. Oh! No cutscene for the trophy. Cool. Well, let's see what it does real quick. Uh, gauntlets are not as good as my magic gauntlets. Wow. Well, I can put. Hang on. Let's see. What does this do? Sign intensity, Quinn intensity, Art intensity, and chance to return damage. Let's put that on. This gives plus two, but if I compare. Uh, 10% crit hit chance attack power. Yeah, I think they're better with the bonuses, even though they do two less armor. We're gonna keep them on. Okay, cool. And, uh, as for the trophy... Whoops. Ah, uh, come on. What, what is it doing? There we go. Trophy is 5% bonus gold. Cool. Well, uh, we're gonna keep on this guy, because he looks cool. All right, cool. So that's it for the uh, tutorial on how to kill the succubus. Uh, before I go, I'm going to show you guys something awesome in the character tree. Uh, as you can see, I have it split into this left one is for my signs and this right one is for my attack. Now with this mutagen, uh, this mutagen grants 5% attack power. Uh, now what that means basically is any skill that you have attached to it will grant 5% extra attack power on top of the 5% that the mutagen is contributing. So that's why you see underneath down here it says uh, attack power 20% because I have three different attacks linked. Um, and over here this greater blue mutagen gives 10% uh, and then 10% per sign so I've got sign intensity plus 40%. Uh, as far as uh, a really good perk that everyone could benefit from using, this perk right here, Fleet Footed, uh, once you get it to level 5, it's going to be every time you dodge, it grants 100% uh, damage reduction. So yeah, on Death March difficulty, you need that shit. Alright, so that's, been, uh, that's all we're going to go over in this video. I'll be uploading more videos just like this, so if you like this tutorial, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that way it'll just pop up in your feed and you don't have to come back every uh, time I make a video. So thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And everybody, you just have a great day.